Hey everyone, in this video we're going to be taking you through some basic maintenance of your HVAC system. We'll show you how to access some of the main components of your HVAC system, what to look for, and how to address any issues that may have popped up. Your model may not look exactly like the one we're working with today, but enter your model number at ereplacementparts.com to access diagrams, part lists, and videos for your specific system. The first thing you'll need to do before you get started is to disconnect power from the unit. With most HVAC systems, you'll find a disconnect switch located close by. Your HVAC system contains condenser coils which are wrapped in aluminum fins and allow for heat dissipation. For these coils to work properly, they'll require a proper airflow. Where you live and how dusty it is in your area will dictate how often you need to inspect your HVAC unit and clean the coils. To access the coils, you'll need to remove the exterior cover, making sure to avoid damaging the fins. Once you have access, you can determine if the coils need cleaning. Remember, if you're cleaning the coils, you should only use water and never under pressure. This can damage the coils and decrease their efficiency. Once you've cleaned and inspected the coils, the next thing you want to look at are the drains. These are typically located on the bottom of the unit. Look for any signs of blockage. Usually you can remove the side access panel to get a better look inside the unit and check for and remove any debris that may have made its way inside. Now that the coils are clean and the drains are clear, you can move inside to look at the evaporator. You'll likely have to remove an access panel to get a better look at the evaporator and determine if it needs to be cleaned. Again, you're looking for any signs of dirt or debris, and if the evaporator needs to be cleaned, you should only clean it with just plain water. Next, take a look at the air filter. This is typically located in the return air duct work. Simply pull it out, and if it's a cleanable type, wash it with plain water as well. If it's too far gone, replace it. Those are the basic steps you want to take in your annual HVAC maintenance. If you have any questions about this or any other maintenance projects around your home, leave them for us in the comment section below. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell so you don't miss a thing. And for replacement parts for your HVAC system, visit us at ereplacementparts.com.